Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're now going to have a pre presentation by the railway room. Um, I was in trouble earlier this week because somebody said that I had a favourite room and it was the railway room. And, uh, and somebody told the other rooms, it's, it's not true, I don't have favourites. Um, but what you are about to see is a very, very strong programme. Um, it has got great engagement um, from several different uh, client and uh, client owner operators of railway. And they've got a full-time project management office who are delivering a full suite of building smart standards. I'm introducing now Winfred Stix, who is the leader of the steering committee of the railway room, and he's going to come and introduce his team that are delivering the IFC rail project. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Um, so, may I introduce you really, really a lot of people? <laughs> Christoph Müller from the uh, Swiss, uh, uh, out, of, out of Switzerland, yeah, let me say. Dieter, uh, PMO, he's, uh, he's very important, he's a finance boss, he's <laughs> CFO. The project leader, co-project leader, Christian Erismann and Su Ning. Uh, I have to say it once more, isn't it? The, the, the very fresh and new Dr. Chi, so give him a hand, it's really... <laughs> Or, or better, ch, ch, I think it's ch, yeah, it's better, ch, yeah, okay. Yeah, better, yeah. Uh, and, and our... His function, CTO. Is, is CTO, of, I forgot, CTO, Dr. Chi. <laughs> <laughs> and our, our, our young lady, Fei Wang, to making our back office uh, more a livable, livable place. And uh, Guy Panier from Sistra, uh, also supporting our our team. So, yeah, half the room is here. Okay, let's have, where can I click? Can I get this one? No. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? It's a, it's a, it's a, a picture of galaxies uh, from the Hubble telescope. I think it's really, it's really great because it's similar to that what we have to do. Uh, this one is the universe of IFC 4. I, I think you never have seen that before. Uh, I don't know where the, the author is sitting here. I think around in the back. Thank you very much <laughs> to Bjorn. He has uh, made the, uh, the work to split out all what is inside IFC 4. And if you see that, um, I can make it a little bit smaller. So that's maybe some galaxy of uh, IFC for rail. You see there the different domains with uh, uh, different uh, 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 descriptions and so on. You mustn't read that because it's not necessary. We are working on it that the documentation is readable than that. So let's come back to Earth. It looks very, very real, isn't it? But as it is written, it's, uh, it's uh, a model of SPP. SPP has, uh, has built that. And Christoph will now go through this model in a virtual view. I think you have got it uh, in, the, in the room beside there. Uh, if, if not, after the session, Christoph will be appreciated to, to lead you through the, uh, with an, with an, uh, uh, 3D glass and so on through this, through this model. But now he will do it with the mouse click. Yeah, OK. Thank you very much, uh, Hinfried. What we have done here. In a, that's a real station on the SPB uh, rail cross. It's called Neuchâtel Herrière. Uh, what we done here is we built this model uh, change in a 3D version with every detailed object. That means you can go in and you can go direct in the model and. Each object are here with all the detailed attribute that we came up from different database direct here to this model. And you see here the ticketing system with the owner, the life cycle status, and you can go deeper here and then you see the material, the weight, the producer, 
and everything is built here on the whole platform. You can select whatever you want here as a small header pin with all the detailed information. And sure, you can go ahead here on each level. Then you can go here also to the clock to each object. It's coming direct, the data from the database with all also the detailed coordinate of this object that you see here. And you can go uh, around here and you have everything it's possible here. The mast, the contact a wire, every B is here in detail. You can come to the other room and have a look on the VR side and you can fly as well in the model to every object that you really want to do. So you can fly with a train, that's good. Yes, okay. <coughs> okay, I so. Go back. Um, you were, I guess, uh, here, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I go back here. Okay, go okay. ahead. Thank you. Thank you. I think Christian will. Yes, let okay. Us do that. Um, what are we doing actually here uh, in, in this project? So the, the aim at the end is that really a life cycle of a railway infrastructure project can be done uh, over a digital common data environment. So you, here you see all the steps, you see also all the, the well, the bunch of, of steps uh, that are grouped, and you see uh, that it starts from the requirement analysis and it ends by the renewal or deconstruction. And everything what is in between is, uh, is digitalized, means over, over the same common data environment. What does this mean in the railway area? The railway area is really complex with a lot of subsystems. And uh, I think uh, we are just at the beginning. We just figured out also this morning in the steering committee meeting that uh, we did now, uh, or we will uh, be done hopefully by the end of the year. We are quite uh, convinced that we do it by the end of the year. And uh, then next step is then to think about all these subsystems coming up. This is your device. This is my cube? This is your device. Well, OK. Maybe we've invented it, and maybe you have seen it already before in Tokyo or an anywhere else. But this is, a, um, this is a way we think railway, and we think uh, we have to go further. We are, st we are starting almost here in a, we called it little BIM and closed BIM, because the functionality, scope and scope of the, of the, of the uh, existing BIM software is not, uh, not big enough for us, because it's only one maintenance group uh, and, and uh, one, uh, one process. You see, we want to go through the design, build and operate processes, and of course we want to have open standards. We don't want to have uh, company standards, we want to go to international open standards, and we want to go through all process, um, uh, process stages. So can I press? But what we, what we know is that we can't achieve that goal with one step. It doesn't, doesn't work. So we have to go through all these little cubes and uh, try to get further, uh, more, or, more or less. So thank you. <coughs> well, and... Uh, we started, uh, <laughs> let me say so, uh, before we signed the MOU in, in Barcelona uh, in uh, April 2017, we have had a, a good year preparation work for that MOU. And after the, 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 the signing of the MOU, we have a good year uh, preparation work for the project proposal. And I think... Um, uh, the, the, all, the whole team, the PMO team and the whole team and the experts, we are only representing a co uh, about, let me say, 100 people or something like that, or more than 100 people, more than 100 people of, of railway experts working on this 
project. <clears throat> and until there, we have, I don't know, I, I, I can't remember who, whose slide is yeah, that. This is, so uh, we're a little bit improvising. No, that's not true, that's not true. We, okay. want, we want to show the team. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, actually, as said, uh, again, it's very close to the, to the four <coughs> previous slide about common data environment. So it's, uh, here you see it now also as a, as a deliverable in track. So the objective is really this extension of the infrastructure schema, then uh, the common schema, which is, becomes very, very important for us because you cannot build a railway of uh, 50 kilometers without having bridges, tunnels, uh, drainage, uh, crossroads, uh, and all these kind of things, what you usually have on a, on a train. Then the point three is also very important to have this international consensus. This international consensus is much more time-consuming than what I expected and what uh, the feedback came, came also from, from other people in the groups. <coughs> and taking into account iterative work, so means we have also, it's clear, we have a, pro a clear project plan, but in this project plan we have a little bit also moving targets. So this is something what is just normal because during this time since uh, April 2017 till today, uh, things in the industry changed also. So this is, uh, this is also a reason why we, we, we follow a project plan, but it's also that we learn from our results. And uh, this next step will be very challenging in the deployment uh, of the software and uh, testing the, in the software. This is then step we will have probably by the end of this year. The scope, as you see here, the dependency also to other systems of the infrastructure room. So we work in four domains. It's track, it's energy, energy mainly overhead contact line and signaling it's everything about a security system around the train and I tell you what that's what I learned also in this project I think you don't get so much diversity uh, all over the world as you have in signaling systems so uh, it's uh, it's it's really huge but but they come out they come out with they told me this morning with something like uh, 80 objects uh, to be defined on a on a on an international level, and this is uh, something really what uh, we think it's very good. I didn't expect it this way. Telecom also railway telecom, some uh, quite uh, special elements as well. Good organization. I mean, uh, Winfried is in this project since uh, three years or four years, huh? something like that. So I came in in Beijing 2018. The first thing what we had to is to organize ourselves. So what did we do? It was given that we have a co-lead from China and from Europe. And all these names you see here, in the domains, this is people from, one from China, one from Europe. Quite interesting constellation. So we started and uh, I figured out in the PMO it's absolutely necessary to have Chinese speaking people in this group. So uh, Chi was the first one joined. It was a very lucky constellation also. He came just uh, out from his Eindhoven University preparing his uh, PhD and uh, now taking over all the technical technical responsibility in the project and later on Fei for helping us in administrational issues. And it's really something, in my opinion, what is the key success factor, factor in, in our project. These persons work very close in Europe, in, in, the, in, 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 uh, in Switzerland actually, and um, it's, uh, it's, it's one part. The other part, also very important, technical service. 
you need to have a, a set of specialists that really understand what's going on here. And uh, <coughs> we were also very lucky that we have this diverse group of, of, of specialists which works very well together and they also share responsibilities, they, they are experts in certain domains and exchange their expertise in order to bring up the best, uh, the best uh, uh, schema. And then we in the PMO as well, experienced project manager, uh, Guy Panier is, is, is uh, constructing trains since uh, 30 years, huh? something like that. So it helped us also a lot because he's the guy bringing in the practical experience from constructing trains all over the world. So it's now relating to use cases. Uh, it was very, very, very uh, worthfully to have him in the team also. And then we have fun together as well. <laughs> So I said it already what, what happened here. It's, uh, it's written also in a, <coughs> in, a, in a slide. So eagle, eagle in German and eagle in English. That's what happened sometime to us in, in the project. So um, it's also some <laughs> something which, which is very important is also that we have... Uh, some formal approach, but we have to be creative as well. So it's also some, some challenging, challenging issue. And as you see here now, as we stay here as a team, with all, all the help of all the domain people, it's really a great success. Yes, as you see, it has... Uh, Christian just presented we have a very good team and a very good organization, so, to, so we need to have a process to get this team to work, to make... So this is a process that we have defined in this project, how we uh, define all these tasks and how we uh, get all these people to deliver things on time. Uh, we have the people grouped into two uh, groups according to their roles in this project. There are domain experts and technical experts. Uh, so the technical experts, they provide guidelines for the domain groups, so they provide the templates, so they provide tools to tell them how to do, how to define all these requirements, and the domain experts will produce uh, deliverables data requirements, which is an uh, Excel sheet according to a template that we defined, and IDM work, which define the use cases, uh, process map, and exchange requirements. Uh, based on the startup requirements, technical service team will do this conceptual model uh, in UML and then later on with the input from IDM, then it will produce, at the end, produce this IFC rail schema uh, and, uh, and specification and then MED schema and specification and uh, of course all these things will be uh, a preparation for the input for data dictionary. So uh, this is our process in this. Uh, group and according to the plan now we are uh, all the things are on the track on, uh, according to these uh, tasks okay <coughs> maybe you already saw this schema in fact it's when we try to establish the general generic use cases in order to understand where they are between the various phases and what kind of uh, activities or data exchange they are in charge of. So it means there is some input, some output, there are some used to check inside a model how it works and so on. At the beginning we looked at all the others, I will say, use cases existing like IFC roads, uh, tunnel and so, uh, bridge in order to build our own uh, use cases, generic use cases. It went through the Common Schema Shared Element Group, which are in charge, in fact, of the railway system, and to be sure that we are not missing any key, I will say, high-level activities or use cases. And now this will be sent to the, common to the domains in order to have them, to have from them the returns of the details of 
what are the use cases at their level. This work will be carried out within the coming months. The objective of the, at the end is to have some use cases defined in order to go into the IDM. We have about 38 at this moment. We are selecting some to be the key one in order to be developed. We have things around five, six, seven, eight, maybe, maximum. And this will be the one to establish the process for the end. Yeah. When we finished some weeks ago or some months ago the use cases, we defined also the reference process map. It was a work carried out by the technical service group with some people knowing the railway. Now this one will be issued to the domains in order to have their comments and of course to the comments schema shared element group which are the one having an overview of the project. Project, I mean railway infrastructure. <coughs> what we tried also to do at this point, which has still to be validated by the domains, is to ensure that each activity, the boxes, are linked and the links are the use cases. So what we propose in the first step, it was a proposal still to be discussed and, and defined, validated by the steering committee, is to have, in fact, for the intermediate, for the plan and the intermediate design phases, some use cases to be carried out in details. And it's what we will do now and after we'll industrialize the process in order to earn or to optimize the time. Between the various teams, I mean the domains, various, the 401, the common schema, and the technical service group. All that, of course, carried out or under the coordination of PMO. Next. Okay, I like uh, to highlight a bit on how we utilize our resources and uh, how we achieve our goals. Um, by first taking a little bit of helicopter view uh, on the objectives and goals specif uh, specifically for 2019. Um, the overarching goal, of course, is deliver the project to plan. Easily said, not so easily done. Because uh, the, 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 the project members, the team members, the collaborators in the domains are also have a day-to-day -day job and they do this on top as, as part of their daily occupation. <laughs> so <coughs> we are extremely focusing on having uh, setting up a work plan and sticking to the work plan as much as we could with all the caveats that Christian mentioned uh, uh, a couple of minutes ago. What we also figured out is that it is extremely important to enhance training and collaboration as much as we can. So we have, this is uh, very also for, for People in the railway uh, uh, systems, it's, it's new. Yeah? Angela Merkel would say, would say new land. Um, and uh, we, have to, we have to bring together in order to um, uh, seed and, and furnish uh, this, this knowledge. We have to bring together the technical experts who have an in-depth knowledge of, of, the, of the IT systems and, and uh, the, the, uh, the IT demands to the people in the in the railway domains and not having said that it's also impossible that we open the view and look what is beyond what is beyond the daily task and uh, the daily the daily job in order to, de to deliver this project so we have also to prepare for the next steps moving forward some financial framework very shortly I think this is one of the largest or the largest external funded uh, project from, from BSI. I hope I'm right here. So we've got a, we've got a cash contribution from, uh, in total from the eight uh, stakeholders in total of around about 2.5 million. And in addition to that, the stakeholders have committed in a total of about 80 people from their organizations delivering a total of around about 3,500 days over a period of two years spanning from 2018 where we started the project to the end of 2019. How do we use the resources? As I said, we, we bring together 
uh, domain experts and technical experts in physical workshops. We have run so far 16 workshops throughout the world. This is a not complete list of where we did the workshops because we have people in China, we have people in Europe, throughout Europe, and we try um, uh, to stay to uh, stick to, to, to every place. As of today, we have more than 600 uh, mandates uh, delivered in technical service contributions and, well, in, num in number, numberable online meetings. There is an online meeting every other week, every week within, in, within the domains. And our promise to BSI, our promise to the stakeholders is to deliver the project in time and in budget. And the project team, with the support of all the collaborators, is very positive that we will achieve this goal. Thank you. Well, thank you, Tita. So that's what we're dealing about. It's the railway system. It's about signals. It's about tracks, about platforms, and so on. What's missing a little bit, or what we have to achieve more in our next, uh, next steps is to keep the common things uh, uh, synchronized with the, with, the, with, the other, with the other thing. What you can't see here is a building, for instance, uh, 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 a railway station or something like that. Uh, you see platforms, you see an alignment. Alignment is a big, a big uh, uh, topic but not only for the track or the road or something like that, but also for maybe a cable canal. Uh, the level crossing between, between platforms, uh, it's the same thing, the level crossing between rail and road. Uh, it's about bridges, it's about watches if you want. That's, that's what we are heading in the, next, in the next month, beside the things we have to do inside the, the, railway, the railway domains. Uh, we have to look uh, for the outer side of the... Uh, of the IFC stuff. And 366, cool, a cool digit, I think. But what is 366? I can, I can pronounce now to you, and it's really, it's a, it's a world premiere, isn't it? It's, uh, well, it's, yeah, we have, we have shown it a little bit before, but I'm really, really proud that we can show you today the first IFC rail pilot project. So if you click again, that's really great. Yes, give them a hand. Yeah. So I think Chi will take over. Dr. Chi. CTO Dr. Chi, sorry. Okay. Who's laughing? This, uh, <laughs> this IFC Rail pilot project is, uh, well, the major purpose of this pilot project is to go through our workflow to test whether this workflow is valid and whether the tool chain that we define is good. And also uh, uh, how to define a way how to verify our standard. So in this uh, pilot project, uh, we uh, selected a subset of requirements that defined in our track domain and uh, get all this in and create a conceptual model and then use this, integrate this conceptual model into IFC to create, create the IFC schema and uh, uh, and then later on, we have a proof of concept implementation and create a sample files and model viewer for this. So this is, uh, you could see from this uh, uh, proof of concept Im implementation that uh, we get this data from our stakeholders and transform it according to uh, the schema that we have defined. So all these uh, railway uh, elements are, are positioned through linear placement and uh, not traditionally in the IFC uh, uh, local placement way. And uh, uh, with this alignment here, that, uh, and also, also all these uh, uh, entities uh, are transformed to this, uh, uh, according to uh, our newly defined entities here. For example, this sleeper is defined as, uh, as IFC uh, in instance of IFC rail element. Uh, to do this work is... Uh, of course, we, we want to have some early implementation to show to our whole team to see that we, we have been working for a very long time. We need to have something that's good and tangible. And, uh, of course, we need to verify this uh, 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 standard. And later on in our project, we will introduce uh, new geometric 
representations into IFC, like railway Kant and, uh, and some other things like uh, network uh, specifications. And all, all these things, we can create a sample file and to really verify and ensure the quality of our work is good and it's applicable uh, to uh, uh, the railway domain. So that's. Okay, fine. Thank you, Chi. So that was the world premiere. And I think the last, uh, the last slide is very important. So click, please. Thank you very much. I think we have done. <laughs>